Section 230 is the most important law protecting internet speech. And removing Section 230 will remove speech from the internet. It's critical as we consider these solutions, we optimize for new startups and independent developers. Doing so ensures a level playing field that increases the probability of competing ideas to help solve problems. We mustn't entrench the largest companies any further. Let me be clear. We approach our work without political bias, full stop. To do otherwise would be contrary to both our business interests and our mission, which compels us to make information accessible to every type of person, no matter where they live or what they believe. Of course, our ability to provide access to a wide range of information is only possible because of existing legal frameworks like Section 230. And the fact that both sides uh, criticize us doesn't mean that we're getting this right, uh, but it does mean that there are real disagreements about where the limits of online speech should be. And I think that's understandable. People can reasonably disagree about where to draw the lines. Uh, that's a hallmark of democratic societies, especially here in the U.S. with our strong First Amendment tradition. But it strengthens my belief uh, that when a private company is making these calls, we need a more accountable process that people feel is legitimate and that gives platforms certainty. At Facebook, we publish our standards and issue quarterly reports on the content that we take down. Uh, we launch an independent oversight board that can overturn our decisions, and we've committed to an audit of our content reports. Uh, but I believe Congress has a role to play too in order to give people confidence that the process is carried out in a way that balances society's deeply held values appropriately, and that's why I've called for regulation. Thanks so much for watching Bloomberg Quick Take News, where we bring you the biggest stories the moment they happen from around the world. Don't forget to click the video if you want to see more of our latest coverage and subscribe to Bloomberg Quick Take News to get insight in an instant.